What's up, everybody? Keith Mitchell. Yes, I'm back again. Sorry about that. But got some brand new information regarding PC support for the Sony PlayStation 5 DualSense controller that I know you'll want to hear. So my last couple of videos was, was regarding the native support being added into Steam. And people kept asking, hey, can I use it for Battle.net? And can I use it for GOG and other gaming services on the PC? And the answer then was no. However, I knew that the gentleman who was working on the DualShock emulator for the PC DS for Windows was working on an update to get it working for DualSense, DualSense support. And today he dropped it and said, hey, it's ready. So we're going to go ahead and go through that right now. We're using the secondary machine that has no update for DS for Win. Um, the controller is not supported right now. It doesn't see it. So I figured I would go through the entire process here. So let's go ahead and knock this out. This is DS4, and I'll give you the actual link once I'm finished. We're going to go ahead and extract it. We'll send it to C temp. But you can put this anywhere. It's completely and totally up to you. It's just where I'm putting it at. All right, now that that's done, we'll go to it. Temp. There it is, and we will run the application. Now the application is going to ask us, do we want to put it in our program program folder or app data? Depends on you. I like putting my stuff in app data. That way I know it's there. Now it's going to ask us to go ahead and install uh, a driver. It's downloading it right now, and we'll go through the motions. Yes, yes, next. It's worth paying attention that if you are on Windows 7, which I'm pretty sure most of you may not be, but there are some uh, exceptions that you're going to need to install this driver in, in step two. But if you don't have Windows 7, then you're you're fine to move on. So Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10 can continue on with no issues. So we installed the driver. We're finished. Now it says, "Hey, there's no DualSense controllers supported. There's nothing added to the machine." Now. If you look at the bottom of the actual application, it says, hey, the bus, that driver we just installed is not ready. It's not been installed, but it is. We have to go to the bottom right hand side and hit start. Now that we did that, you'll see that Windows has said, hey, I see something. And DS for Win says, I see a dual sense controller. Now, if you look at the screen, you'll see that I have a picture or actual feed of my dual sense controller. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to show you that the LED works by changing the colors. And just like with Steam, we can we can cycle through the colors and the colors on the controller are now changing. See that? So LED support is in there. That's great. We also can go through with the profiles. I'll close this out. Go through the profiles. We can add a new profile if we want. We can edit the existing profile. And basically this means we're setting the buttons. I'm not gonna play with this right now because it's default, but you can totally do that if you want to. I'm gonna cancel out. And basically we can look at the settings here. We can say when to hide the controller, we wanna use the touchpad to swipe the profiles, run at startup. If you wanna use this constantly, you'll have to do this. I would say make this a task. Actually no, program is probably better. Leave it a program. When you disconnect from Bluetooth, um, start minimize. There's a bunch of options you can do. Quick charge, all that. This only works with the dual sense controller plugged in right now. He is working on Bluetooth support, but for right now you have to deal with this, but it's fine. So the second question probably is, hey, so now that we have this, can we actually use this for playing games? Well, let's find out, shall we? So I'm going to go ahead and launch play night which is the application i simply adore lets me take all my pc games and put them in one handy location and as you can see i have this looking like a uh, xbox now what i'm going to do is actually move my camera closer sorry about that i mean i'll just you know what i'll just take the camera out you see it works now so we don't need the camera in the way so let me kill the camera that way it makes this video a little easier for me all right so as you can see, I'm moving around. Trust me, I'm using the DualSense. I have not switched up. And the great thing about Play Night is I can go in and I can say settings, show me buttons for the PlayStation. 
so now all my buttons respond to playstation now there are some games in here that are steam which will work regardless there are some games in here that are not steam assassin's creed valhalla is not steam uh control is epic game store so that's not steam uh foregone is not steam so what i want to do is show you a game that is not steam so mortal shell is definitely not steam so we're going to launch that and i played this game entirely too much all right it is now launching and i definitely recommend picking up play night if you use your pc as a primary gaming i want to say console um and you want to sit away from your pc because that's what play night lets you do it's so good go back and look at some other videos regarding play night i love it but regardless play night has been started we're now inside of mortal shell and look at that the controller is working we have support for dual sense in epic game store games and i'm moving the mouse around with the touchpad it is so good but i'm pretty sure you guys are like all right keith that's fine but does it rumble well we're loading up a game right now i'm gonna let the enemies kick my ass and we shall see if it rumbles obviously there's no sound because the last couple of videos i had the sound too loud and it muted my voice and it really was terrible hey it is rumbling this baby is rumbling you know what here i'm gonna put this back on so you guys see this so you believe me all right I'm going to go walk over to the enemy and I'm going to let them beat my ass. I beat this game a couple hundred times now, so it's fine. Oh, you know what? Here, let me just move this over. Hopefully you still can pick me up on the mic and watch me move around. Look at this. Touch pad is working and it's a button. You can use it to attack. There's no haptic feedback, obviously, but all right. So these guys see me. I'm going to let them beat my ass. Watch the controller. It's not very loud, apparently, but you can feel it. Oh, there it is. I died in. You definitely heard it. it went so, uh, yeah, guys, that is great. We also can use this to get out of the game. So I died. I got to turn my mic ever so slightly. Give me a second here. There we go. So I died. You know what? I never realized how awkward it is to use a tripod on top of <laughs> desk when trying to do this stuff. Man, I see why people have mics or uh, cameras from the ceiling now. All right, so we're exiting out. We're quitting the game completely. Play Night's gonna go, hey, you left the game, Keith. That's okay. I'll start it back up for you. And you know what else we could try? A game that people were probably ragging on. Oh wait, you want an update for Godfall? Mm, no, we're, we're not doing that right now. I really wanted to show you guys. Oh, you know what here? Foregone. Foregone is also an Epic Games game. And that runs pretty fast. And it's also one of my favorite games on the Epic Games Store. It's a 2D game. It's similar to Dead Cells, but it's more Metrovania. And it has an, it has an actual story. This is actually a really fun game. If you haven't played it yet, definitely check it out. But as you can see, I'm just going through this second nature, right? And I'm doing everything. And... The game's working fine. I don't think touchpad's going to work in this, but we got everything else working. Buttons are working just fine. I don't even think this game has rumble support for uh, the Xbox controller, to be honest with you. I guess to, I'll find out when the enemy hits me or shoots me, which should be fairly quick. There's some right up here. I think there is. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's no, there's no rumble support in here. I don't think this game has rumble support but look everything is working all is right with the world so we're going to exit out of this game main menu exit and what have we learned we have learned that thanks to ds4 windows we now have dual shock dual shock dual sense support for the windows pc without steam which means we can now use this in Battle.net, we can use this in Bethesda, we can use this in GOG, we can use this for emulators, we can use this for anything, any games on the PC right now, with or without PlayStation DualShock support. This is separate. Once again, this is thanks to the efforts of the gentleman who developed DS for Windows. Go on, go on Twitter, thank him for doing this. This is amazing. So now we don't have to worry about just Steam having support. We have support for everything. So even if the game didn't have support on Steam, 
DS for Windows takes care of that. And once again, everybody, this is Keith Mitchell here from the Outer Haven Productions, showing you some more great Dual Sense tutorials and how to's. And if you like the video, as always, please like, please subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell to know when we release new videos. You know, and just talk to us, socialize with us. You know, there's a lot of people saying, hey, I need help with stuff. And I'm here to help you guys. I love helping you guys. You know, that is what I do. I am a PC gamer. I am a tech journalist. I'm a gaming journalist. I have zero problems helping people. All right. Hope you enjoyed the content. And once again, I'll see you next time. This is great stuff. I love being a PC gamer.